Hey guys, welcome back. General Tony here, coming back with another very fun-filled episode for you here today. We are going to be taking these brand new maxed out level 3 bowlers to see if we can surround some Tano 11s and some Eagle Artillery. So stay tuned, we are going to be going in for a live attack very shortly. Just before we do though, we are going to be starting the $100 14,000 gem giveaway. So we're going to keep it very simple. Every single Sunday, we are going to start a $100 giveaway. That is going to end every single Saturday. We are going to repeat this week after week after week. So all you need to do to enter the giveaway, it's very simple. Leave a like on this video to show some support to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now to make sure you stay up to date with the giveaway winners. And of course, click the raffle link in the description box down below. So the first link in the description box down below will take you straight to Gleam where you will be able to enter the giveaway completely for free. Now the winners are chosen at random by the internet, not myself, and will be emailed once the winner has been chosen. So all that aside for now guys, let's get ourselves into some bowler raids. So just before we get ourselves into a live battle, I really wanted to show you this attack. This is a 3 star I've just completed guys using a 20 bowler attack strategy. 20 maxed out level 3 bowlers, 2 max golems. The King, the Grand Warden, two Rage Spells and two Free Spells. Now the Queen is currently still upgrading, so we're not going to have the Queen inside of this raid. So the first thing you usually want to do when you're using Bowlers, they are very much like Valkyries. So if you don't funnel them in, then they are just going to go Schizo and go around the outside of the base. So you want to make sure you use the Wizards and the Golems to funnel them in. We're then going to drop in the 20 Bowlers, as you can see, send in the first Rage Spell and use the Grand Aura just to make sure that the Eagle Artillery doesn't do too much splash damage. So it is now time for our bowlers to surround and take out the Eagle Artillery, the Inferno Tower, and of course the Town Hall. So we've dropped in the second Rage Spell, and the bowlers basically teetotaled inside of the center, guys. They completely destroyed every single one of the structures, all of the defenses, but check this out. I never realized that multi-target Inferno Tower was there, and the bowlers are in serious trouble here, but watch what they do. They use their ability, their splash damage, and manage to take out the multi-target Inferno Tower, and it was two wall compartments away. That is absolutely insane. They are the only troop in the game which could have the ability to do that, and they absolutely destroyed it. It was so fluky, though, I didn't even know it was there, so I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'd done it on purpose, because I had no idea that that Inferno Tower was there. But wow, definitely gained a little bit of respect from me, these bowlers. So check this out, there's loads of structures left down the bottom and the troops up the top are going to actually finish off the Archer Tower, take out that Wizard Tower there, the King's going to make his way around the outside of the base, the Grand Warden is literally just hopping over walls in front of defences like he's the King, and he pretty much is the King, especially with that staff in his hand as well. But yeah, he really just doesn't care, going to follow the rest of the troops down south now, completely ignored that level 10 cannon, don't worry, they will go back up for it very shortly. Going to be able to take out some of the Archer Towers and that final Wizard Tower the King has just killed. Now the Bowlers are hopefully going to be able to splash damage onto the Archer Tower, but not just quite. So they're going to go around the outside of the base. King has decided to make his way through and around the outside as well. And now the Bowlers are going to take out the final two buildings. King just gets a swipe in there. And now they are heading back up north to take out that little cheeky cannon. The cannon thought he'd survived, but my friend, he is about to die. Here come the bowlers, guys. There is, I think there's four of them. Four bowlers, two target the cannon, two target the elixir collector. And there we go, guys. The first triple star using these maxed out bowlers. And check the loot we got. 460,000 gold and 350,000 elixir. So just before we go into a live attack, we are going to go in for one final replay and we come across this base here. It's a lot more advanced than the previous one. The walls are a lot higher level, the defenses are higher level, but fortunately for us, the Inferno Towers are currently upgrading, which is great. So once again, it's going to be a 20 bowler, 2 golem attack strategy. Going to be using the golems and the wizards to funnel in those troops. Remember, you always want to funnel in the troops. Now we don't have the queen, guys. The queen is currently upgrading. She is currently going to level 23. If you want me to gem the queen, comment down below, hashtag gem the queen, and we will get her up one or two levels and get her back up and fighting to join the battle. So we're going to be sending in the bowlers. Don't forget, we have already funneled them in. We're going to use a rage spell and the Grand Warden's ability just to make sure that that eagle artillery doesn't do too much damage. Going to be dropping a free spell on it and getting these troops right deep into the center of the base. Unfortunately, the king for some reason, has been targeted by two of the Expos. All the other troops were just left alone. The Expos just decided to go for the biggest boy and try and take out my king. Unfortunately, he lost loads of health. The bowlers are doing a great amount of destruction, teetotaling the center of the base once again, but their hit points just aren't there, and they've been taken down. 
So look at this, on the right hand side there's a little cheeky squad of bowlers, there's four of them, they're like a little sneaky army doing damage to those level 9 and level 10 walls, but those walls are so high in hit points that these bowlers just don't have the attack points needed. So I will say they do need a buff guys, I mean they don't have the hit points required and they also don't have the attack ability required, so if you don't get lucky with them like I did in the first raid where you saw they managed to take out the Inferno Tower, then you really could find yourself in some serious problems if you're inside a war or even trophy pushing because they could cause you to lose the raid. So look at this though, the Grand Warden is definitely being cheeky. Inside of there, he's about to take out the gold storage all on his own. The, uh, the final bowlers are about to go down, so we're going to go quad speed here just to make sure we can clean up the rest of that gold. There he is. That is why I love him, guys. The Grand Sniper doing what he does best, being cheeky and getting us some extra loot. So we also managed to grab loads of loot inside of this raid, but now it's time to go in for a live attack. Let's see what we can find. So here we go, here we go, live attack time, and as I said, we have changed up the army. It is going to be six Valkyries, two Witches, six Bowlers, two Golems, loads of Wizards, the Heroes, of course, no Queen once again. Don't forget, hashtag gem the Queen if you want to see the Queen back up and fighting again. So we're going to be taking out this Eagle Artillery, and take a look at that, guys. We cannot find a better base than this. He is offering us the Pigeon up front. I mean, he's literally putting the Pigeon on a plate for us. So we're going to be dropping down those Bowlers. We're going to drop down three of them, I think just to make sure we can take it out because it is going to take a very long time because it has such an insane amount of hit points. The Eagle Artillery is the hardest defense in the game to take down and it, it is a good thing because it is definitely, I would say it's not underpowered but it could definitely deal a little bit more power to like other troops except for Golems but let's just leave it at that. So we're going to be dropping in the Wizards, the Grand Warden, the King and then of course the Wall Breakers. Then we are going to funnel in the Valkyries but that multi-target Inferno Tower needs to have a free spell on it. So there we go guys, going to be dropping on the free spell. The troops are going insane. Unfortunately the Valkyries went around the left hand side of the base instead of going more towards the Inferno Tower. Oh 20%, sorry about that guys. Instead of going more towards the Inferno Tower which was unfortunate but it doesn't matter. The Bowlers actually managed to take it out. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a 3 star, the Valkyries are getting melted by the Inferno Tower, we have no more free spells, some of the bowlers and one of the Golemites went around the outside of the base, obviously because this base is so weird and it's like so spaced out and the guys just literally planted everything in random spaces, I mean who puts their Dark Elixir storage, the Grand Warden stand and the Eagle Artillery on the outside of the base, absolutely no one, so yeah I think this guy may have given up on the game. So yeah, he's definitely got one of the weirdest bases I've seen today. But I wanted to attack it because there was a lot of loot inside of it. And also, the Eagle Artillery was literally offered on a plate. And I cannot turn that down. So we're going to use the Grand Warden. Sorry, the King's Ability right now. Going to rage him up, get that little bit of Dark Elixir inside of there. And this is where the raid is pretty much going to be shut down. Let's just get a few more percentage points. So I would just like to say, guys, as this raid is finishing out, thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. We have just passed the massive 300k mark. We are going to start our road to 500,000, half of a million. Hopefully we can get there by the end of the year. That's it, King. Kill that cannon for me. And there it is, guys. This is where the raid is pretty much going to end. Take, going to take out that last wizard tower. So, yeah, thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. Don't forget, if you want me to gem the queen, hashtag gem the queen. Don't forget to leave a like on this video to show some support. Subscribe right now and enter the free giveaway. The link is in the description box down below. I will see you very, very shortly for another one, guys. Have a great weekend. Peace out.